Since opening in October of 2001, more than one million patrons have walked through the doors of the Armed Forces Museum at Camp Shelby, Mississippi. The museum closed in November of 2014 to accommodate the growing number of visitors and improve the exhibits. We're actually ahead of schedule right now, real excited. Got a great crew working here. Got some really interesting exhibit designs we're gonna bring in, so it'll be a lot like it used to be, but it'll be a lot better, a lot more updated, and a lot of new things that we got that uh, we weren't able to put on display yet because we just didn't have the space. All right, this is the Hall of Honor, okay? So when you come in, this side will be the Medal of Honor. So as you, as, you, as you come in here, you'll walk in this area, there'll be a central display case with the actual medals that some of Mississippians received. Um, and then there'll be uh, exhibits in here about the Medal of Honor recipients themselves. Now this, is, this side will be, matches this, this is the Hall of Honor. And this is where you'll see people like John Quitman, who led the Marines through the halls of Montezuma, uh, Sonny Montgomery, who uh, generated the Montgomery GI Bill that provides educational benefits to the National Guard. There's a few things in the museum that will, will stay here. They're really part of our permanent collection. They're of such national significance it just we can't take them off display. Uh, one is the M2A2 tank. This tank uh, is uh, the first tank both designed and built in the United States. As, as many people as we can expose to the military contributions of Mississippians, that, that's what we want to do for our soldiers now, for the soldiers in the past, to understand that there's a long lineage here and that the people today are carrying that torch from the people back in the territorial militia. So it just keeps going forward. Reporting for the 102nd MPAD, class Lamont Bradford.